In this series, I'm back in Fukushima with Frederick to show you what changed and show you the last abandoned places before their history. In previous episodes, we showed you abandoned cars, stores, hotels, hospitals and the supermarket. And in this episode, we venture inside a construction store. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. It's another evening around the nuclear zone in Fukushima, so it's time again to check potential places, since there are too many workers during the day. Frederick drops me off with the car, and the mission starts. Thing here. It seems I'm not the first here. The glass of this door is smashed by burglars. Seems we found another time capsule, which isn't emptied yet. I quickly scout the place to see if it's any different than stores we've been to the past. Work tools. It seems to be some kind of construction market. Something we didn't film yet. Time to go back and share the good news. The next day we don't manage to get near, a few days later we try again. This time luck is on our side. Oh. Oh. Am I getting old? <laughs> We made it to the back of the building. <laughs> My god. Oh. Yeah, stupid thorns. Yeah. Jacket broken. Yeah, oh. okay. It's, it's a bad jacket. So, so yesterday I peeked out of this window. There was a ladder standing on the inside. I checked outside and there was a ladder laying down here too. So that means it must have been used by thieves. But now we're gonna use this ladder for our entrance. I have the time of my life. <laughs> I put him low because otherwise they can see it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Let's go inside before it gets busy. We can drop ourselves here, right? Yeah. Hop, hop. I'm gonna drop the ladder. It's better. Okay. Uh -huh. Now we'll we'll be stuck here. <laughs> we entered at the cooking area. Whew. Made it. My god. <laughs> so we're inside. Radiation is back to normal, 0 0.10 or 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So that means there's not a lot of radioactivity inside. It's almost like the regular background radiation you have at home even. Do you want to learn more about subjects like nuclear energy? Go to Brilliant.org, the sponsor of today's episode. They will help you fast with mastering this knowledge. Brilliant is the best way to learn math, science and computer science interactively in a fun and engaging way so you can enjoy the process of building new skills from basics to advanced. Brilliant was built for busy people and you can master whole topics in as little as 50 minutes a day on your phone, tablet or computer. This way you learn by example more about the places I explore, like nuclear reactors, fossil fuel power stations and more. Visit brilliant.org slash unbeaten path or click the link in the description for a 30 day free trial and the first 200 subscribers will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thanks Brilliant for sponsoring this episode. This is dog or cat food and almost every can is open. You see the lids are here. How do they get this open? You oh. mean the rats? Yeah. This is... Yeah, but how do they do it? I don't know. You see? They're all... All the lids are off. Yeah. So I see a lot of different items. Yesterday I came inside 
And I thought it was a construction store, but it seems to have all kind of stuff here. I think we haven't seen a single store where there's no rubbish on the floor. It's always difficult walking. This we saw in a previous episode. This is how the real aftermath of the disaster looks like. Something you won't see on the news or on TV. Yeah, this is the part I saw yesterday night. See, drill bits. Ah, here. Little toolkit. Mm, funny. Yeah. Water pumps here. Oh, chainsaw. in the boxes, more items here. You can see that these probably went through here. Stole their most expensive equipment. Yeah, here are all kind of power tools, drills. Grinder. It's nice, it's uh, something we haven't seen before in the zone. I think somebody had to flee. It doesn't belong here. We needed those at the entrance, man, with all the thorns. Would make life so much easier. Yeah, maybe, Here maybe, they are all. Maybe for the next location. Yeah, who knows. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole department. Mm -hmm. Look at this. But, well, you need it probably with all the bamboo here in Japan. I love all the working tools, man. Actually, it's pretty cheap. Like four euro, man. Come on. What would this cost in the Netherlands? 12 bucks? Oh, more. Hey, but still, after seeing so many stores, it still boggles my mind, man. It's so crazy that everything is just abandoned. And these are the last bits of the whole zone. So in a few months, half a year, I believe everything will be gone. Uh, yeah. I guess we documentate every full building. Now yeah. we focus in a... I guess so. Yeah, there the might zone. be some small buildings, but yeah. also the most buildings, yeah, you might have seen it, are full of rubbish or uh, wild boars got in and it looks like uh, one messy thing. So we didn't film there. We have to be picky as well. So we explore a lot of buildings and then we make a choice which is the best preserved one. So mm -hmm. this is one of them. And it's nice because this is a store we haven't seen before. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. So we got a wide variety of different types of buildings yeah. and gardening yeah. stuff. Yeah. You can see in the corner the roof is broken. Yeah. <laughs> Here. They should have used this man in the stores. 
Ah. Ja. Ah ja, <lacht> funny. Yeah. We're eating some Look. spider webs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we didn't see many cobwebs uh, this trip. Huh? And remember, in the super in the supermarket, it was really lucky. bad. We are lucky. Yeah, we're all lucky. <laughs> yes. It goes up a little here. Yeah. Zero point four. Now we can check the real quality of these things. You see, completely rusty. Oh, everything is. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that at price, huh? Yeah. <laughs> No, this one. Yeah. Oh, that one is uh, expensive, still rusty. This is. This seems to be stainless steel. Why not? Oh, not bad. A little bit rusty. They use it to uh, cut the grass, do like this. It's like the, the, the death reaper has one, you know? In Belgium you have uh, grass cutters. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh. here they are. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look, Ryobi. And here, bush cutter, I don't know the word. The kantemeyer in Flemish. Yeah. The, kant <laughs> the kantemeyer. And here also one to trim the bushes. Maybe oh, I even a leaf blower here. Oh. Oh. Maybe I can say it in, in uh, Flemish for the, the watchers. Yeah. Subscribers. <laughs> the bloodblazer. In the bloodblazer. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. You have here the, the garden stuff, and here are some socks, uh, clothes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't get these stores, man. But we've been to many active stores as well. And no matter in what store you are, there are always some basic items you mm -hmm. have. Because like socks, hats, we saw in every store. And food too. We yeah, haven't I, seen I food here it. yet. <laughs> there might be food in the beginning of the store. Jumilaarden. <laughs> oh, here are the suits. So we see a lot of construction workers in the zone. And they all wear the same colors. But when you see this, you know why. Look. Oh. Right, we can now infiltrate something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Tepco power station. Yeah. Yeah, only boots, my god. Look, you, what happened here? Mm. Mm. Oh, there are sandals too. cat slippers. So we're here now for around 15-20 minutes and we're here the construction workers now. And yeah, they are started. Pretty nearby I think. Maybe yeah. we should just check it out. We still have to get away that will be the most difficult part. Yeah but for now how many days are we here? Five? Six? Uh, six. Huh? Yeah we still manage to uh, get away unseen all the time. Needs the perfect timing because it's really difficult but Still stupid because you would expect a rat that he follows his nose, but he simply bites and everything to check if there's something edible in there. And in this case, it's a water cooker. <laughs> and here, Oi. it's a weird store, I have to say. A weird mix of animal stuff, gardening stuff, kitchen stuff, electronics. Car stuff. Work tools. Work tools, yeah. <laughs> ah, even like pillows and uh, Bumpers. diapers. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you go to a store like this to buy diapers? I don't know. And again, always the same. I think Disney earns a lot of money in Japan, right? 
Everything is Disney. This part is so rusty, it just falls apart. You see? Oh my gosh. It's really bad in here. Yeah. Oh, you can see a little bit collapsed here. So this is the only part where the shells are empty. So uh, the rats had a feast there. You can see all the animal cans and animal bags on the ground. All empty. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> you see? Mm. <laughs> it's funny because it's all the only shelves here in the whole store which are empty. All dog food here and cat food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jackpot for these animals. So it's not only the earthquake, but also the animals tumbling down everything on the floor. Oh, <laughs> it's uh, really hard to walk here, man. It's a miracle we didn't break an ankle yet, right? Because you have to step on things so you don't know what's underneath. The bad thing about it is that it's really noisy. So if there are people nearby, they can hear you. And then it's game over for us. Oh, here, aquarium, mm. little fish tanks. I think we can go to the other side of the store. And walking on diapers is the best part. <laughs> Here it will get more noisy. Look, this is a bad quality one. And it's the most expensive one, you see? That's crazy. This is the cheap one. And after 11 years, this is still okay. And this one you can throw away. So we have a really hard time exploring the shop because it's really hard to get through there. <coughs> yeah. Hola. Hola. What's this? Oh. Japanese woods huh? to uh, yeah? close the, the shops. Oh, duct tape, Urbex tool number one with tie wraps, I believe. Duct tape and tie wraps, you can fix everything. Here's some ropes. <laughs> Damn. It's an obstacle route here, man. The walkway was blocked, and here the walkway is also blocked. Leave nothing but footprints. But we have to move things a little here. Back in the shelves. Unbelievable, man. Really unbelievable. Ah. Oh. Oh. Looks really typical Japanese, those. burglar signs. I think they opened it, but it seems there was nothing inside. Yeah. Here you can see it too. Here's the vault. You can see a lot of force has been used to open this. Oh. Damn. They've been busy. Here are the tools. Yeah. From yeah. the thieves. Ugh, crazy. <laughs> Long time ago. Yeah, indeed. They probably got a decent salary here. <sighs> so we have to go back the same way. You just have to see they're not working there left and right. They are. Yeah. Many, many workers. Yeah. Yeah. 
It is what it is. It's gonna be interesting. We are surrounded by workers and have to be really careful not to get seen. It's a bucket. Jump? Yeah, jump. I didn't see where, but that's not it. Really nice bamboo forest. Yeah, I just hold my hand against it. They're working everywhere here. Continue, continue. Two of these houses. Psst. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> working. Yeah, what were you? Where are they then? You don't see them, man. Eh? Yeah, but a little bit in the forest, but. Yeah. Where is Do you see them? No. Wait, 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 wait. We have to find out where they are. Ten meters? We came from the road, from the other house. Yeah, I know, but I wanted to go out here. The Dagger Thunder is getting crazy. Yeah, let's go. Through the bushes behind the car. Here. They're cleaning the, the forest. Oh my god. <laughs> Please go straight, bro. Straight. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you next week.